We've been talking about this kind of a bit lately. And um, it seems like maybe this is a sign that things are really starting to get rolling with Super Nintendo World as part of the Universal Studios parks in Japan, Hollywood, and Orlando. Um, they released a CGI trailer with Mario going through a pipe to get into Super Nintendo World and, you know, showed tourists, like real life tourists in there and i mean like the whole the whole thing is cg like mario is the the environment is but i think if they are just gonna have the whole that whole part of the park be mario themed i think that works i mean because it's like it's basically like disney making something that's like pretty much just mickey themed but it still feels like it's all disney i mean he is mario is the mascot for nintendo so it makes sense um, but you can still do the other things like, you know, you can do the you can include the other franchises that you want to include as long as Mario is the focus. And I can just imagine like having like I really it sounds stupid, but I want to see a hill with a flagpole. I real I just I just want to see that it doesn't have to be very tall. I just want to see that somewhere in the background and I would like it if you can't get to it. Like it's just there in the background. I, I, I do kind of wonder how many, like that's nothing like Disney's done. But I wonder like how many things that like, they'll do that like maybe they'll take from other amusement parks. Like I keep thinking of like, you know, like Disney World has like the hidden Mickey's. I wonder if like mm-hmm. in the Super Nintendo World if they'll have like hidden uh, mushrooms stars or star. Oh yeah, stars. You like see me? It's like how many can you find? I'm like haha, or red red coins. Red coins Ooh, are the uh, that would fit in because those are like the hidden secret items. Yeah, so like that would be cool. Also, I don't know why, but I think of, I think they'll have like a Peach's Castle. Oh yeah, definitely. But then I think of like the parade from like Disney World that I think they do. Like I, it's I don't know if it's every night or if it's like it's like, every specific, day. I just imagine like the Mario mascots coming out. They don't, but they don't need to do that. They don't. Be, I know. And, and there I will be know. mascots, though. I'm starting to wonder where do you think this would this would go? Would this because I was actually talking uh, about this with a coworker. Um, I want to say this week, and they were basically like, um, "Well, do you think it's going to go in Islands of Adventure, or if it's going to go into a regular theme park? Because Islands of Adventure, everything does have its like own division." that things fit into like you've got marvel superhero island you've got the jurassic park area you've got harry potter wizarding world um and you've got some others that they just need to get rid of <laughs> i'm sorry toon lagoon dudley do right stuff nobody cares about that anymore <laughs> those are the areas that you go when you don't want to wait in line for any rides <laughs> same could be said about Dr. Seuss. I'm sorry, but Dr. Seuss is like that belongs in a park for like five years old and under. Um, So are they going to do that or are they going to do, you know, Universal Studios because that one is a lot less sectored off. I mean, sure, when you look at a map like there's color coding for areas, but they don't really make a whole lot of sense. Much at all. And it's kind of like a hodgepodge. It's like it, the the whole thing was set up like a studio backlot, and I think at one point it was a studio backlot. Like it was, it actually was. And then I think they were filming some some shows there. Nickelodeon Studios was a part of it, um, and it actually got too noisy for the shows that they were filming there. So they just stopped filming shows there. Shocker! That it'd be noisy in an amusement park. Right, right. You would think that they would prepare one way or another for that. Um, so, yeah, it's, a. Uh, I I think, I think they could do, like, like, their own, like, sectors for, like, but, like, different Nintendo franchises. I think that would be cool. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, you can, you can't go too crazy, because it's just going to be a section of the park. Yeah. Um, like, you can hmm. maybe have, like one or two attractions per franchise and you can only do i would say 
they could probably pick about four different ones. I was going to say, it's, it's either going to go one of two ways. It's either going to go full Mario and like everything's going to be Mario themed. Or it's just like they're only doing that because it is their mascot. But there's going to be like other things that are like associated with Nintendo. That's how I think it'll go. I think that it should like be like there should be certain sections of like main Nintendo franchises like Mario, Zelda, um Pokemon, Pokemon, Kirby, like Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong they can kind of I could combine see like with a Mario. Giant kids jungle gym. Like they have at Disneyland. Hmm. Maybe that's Disneyland. I think it is Disneyland. They've got like this giant like... Yeah, because it's like Tarzan's treehouse. They've got like a big thing in Disneyland like that. Just make like a big old Donkey Kong thing. Yeah. Make it like that. I Banana still... horde. Maybe. I still demand an F-Zero roller coaster. Yeah, you can... Yeah, you can... And I mean, even, even the... You know, you you maybe have like three or four main franchises that like have multiple attractions, including Mario, and then you can have like you know other lesser known ones like just have one attraction apiece. So like we were talking about like I forget the name of like the thing, but like those like ride and shoot. Mm-hmm. Look, there's Link's crossbow training. No. Yes. No. Yes. That is a game. Which is not canon, number one. I guarantee you something's going to be like that. Samus, Metroid. You're that, shooting Metroids. And that would be pretty cool. Space pirates. That's a much better option. But I don't or know how much... No, Splatoon needs to be like an actual Splatoon thing. It needs to be a paintball arena, like I said before. Not paintball. And people need to shoot each other. If kids want to play, they need to sign a form that says they're willing to bleed. Because that's what real squid people would do. See, the difference here between you and me is I want the park to be successful. I want it to be successful, too. I you want, want it to be, be successful. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to squirt paint at you. Mm. You know what? Now, while we're on the topic of paintball, it's not that painful. I'm sorry. It's not. Like, people, like, any time I came close to playing paintball, like, the really, like, the really brawny guys were like, oh, I don't know, I mean, it, it really stings. Like, I don't know if you want to get into it. I got shot, like, three times, like, and well enough to, like, leave welts and bruises and stuff. I was fine. I was like, this is what you guys were talking about? Oh, yeah, it really stings. Not really. I've heard some pretty bad things. Like, I think one time... I've been shot in the gut by a gas-powered, um... What was, what's, uh, airsoft gun. CO2. Or, yeah. uh, CO. CO2 powered. Yeah. Nothing is worse than that. Uh, one dude got shot in the face with a paintball, and it, sh- the shrapnel cut his mouth open. And that's why you wear a mask. He did wear a mask. Well, that's the bad. He thing. must have been using it improperly then, or the other person was it's the most amazing shot. His in the world. fault. It's just all his fault. That person that's was aiming. All. It was a headshot. Anyway, purpose. bad idea for Mario. For Mario. Okay, <laughs> the only thing world. I'd be totally okay with with uh, Splatoon is if they got like the rollers, giant rollers. And you got to beat people with them. I would... Or even make it a water ride. Where you're constantly, like, getting, you know... And they can use that kind of ink that, like, gets on you and it, like, stays there for a few minutes and then disappears. Invisible ink? Yeah. That's a lot of invisible ink. (laughs) It's Nintendo. They're gonna bring in the moolah anyway. I'd, I'd beat someone with a roller. You have to ride on Yoshi and punch him in the back of the head so that his tongue spits out. What, to... was, what was... Oh, man. What was that, like, Loch Ness Monster thing in, like, Mario 3D World? 
It's like messy. Oh, yeah, something like that. I could see that being a water ride. Like, getting into a thing with, like, a messy head, and it was like, ah. I think they need to have, like, a motion ride that's, like, based on Super Mario Galaxy. Could you imagine that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Like, something like Harry... Have you been on, like, the Harry Potter ride? I have no... I've never... I've only been to Universal Studios when I was a really young kid. The Harry Potter ride is really incredible. They need to make another one like that, but for something with Mario or Zelda or something. Or Bullet 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 Bill roller coaster. That's a thing. That's gonna be a thing. It's either that or uh F Zero, you gotta pick. And the food courts will only have mushrooms. And flowers. <laughs> Mario's a vegetarian. Or a druggie. Really not sure yet. Why can't he be both? <laughs> a vegetarian druggie. <laughs> That's true. 